Hello, my fine intrepid Yu-Gi-Oh players. I am White Knight Spada, and welcome to the fourth episode of Decktastic Tuesdays. Two weeks ago, I did my Hyractic Dragon Atom Turbo deck, and this week I'm going to bring to you a variant on that because lots of people seem to like the Hyractic Dragon deck, and so now people want to play it. So now I'm going to give you the opportunity to play it. This card uses no OCG cards and no card card D, so it's easily playable. And considering that they're all commons, you can basically just get them really easily, and it's very handy. And yeah. So let's go on to it. Three effect further, because this deck doesn't go on to the OTK style, it goes on the more control the field play, and it's less in your face, but it still brings out those big things, it stops Dragonfly, it stops Centipede, it stops Rabbit, whatever, it just, it's just great to have three now, it's essential. One Gauze, because I don't care what you say, hand traps are fucking awesome, and Gauze is the, one of the best of them all. He's 2700, so he can crash Graffa, kill Stardust, kill Dolka. All that sort of good thing. Well, even though he'll probably get negated by Dolka, but yeah. Um, one Luster and one Wattail Dragon. Six stars to stop change his parents, you've got one of each. Uh, standard, really. Uh, one Gebeb, he is a four star, so you can just go off. One thing I found about this deck is that you don't, sometimes you just lack the ability to actually, you've got Sue in your hand, you've got, um, you've got like, the cards, you've got Sue, you can, you've got the ability to go off in special summon and go off in your combos, but you don't have the four star or S set that can just normal summon to go off. So having an extra four star is very handy, and also he's got a quite nice effect, and he's an 800 point beat stick. One Nebthek, because you can pop a card in the field, it's also 5 star, because this deck manipulates 5 star exceeds as well as just 6. So it adds more depth and ability to the deck, and also he's pretty handy. Uh, 3 Eset, really standard, normal summon without tribute, and also you can just use his effect to change the level to all 6 or 5 or whatever. Just 6 really. 3 Sue, this is the best character dragon in the game, apart from, I assume in my opinion, you can destroy a spell and trap, and he's so easy to get out and go off on your combos, he's basically a free tomb. So yeah, he's very good. Three Tefnu, standard really, 2100 beats that you can just special summon, then you can just nail tribute that, go off and your special summons if you need to, or just sync up, whatever. Three uh, Red Eye Titus Battle Dragons, this card is so broke, you need it in your deck, because it's just, even though its effect is absolutely beast, the 2800 attack is so important, because that extra 100 points means it can kill Graffa, it can kill Dolka, it can kill Lagia, it can kill Stardust, it can kill Photon Strike Bouncer, it can kill Adrius, Tyrus, Zen Mayo, Gaia Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, everything! It can just kill everything! Except Rabbit Dragon, which is a bit of a problem considering how well used that card is. Anyway, use this in 3. One Monster Reborn, standard. You see that this deck doesn't use Heavy Storm or Dark Hole. I'll get onto why in a second. 3 Convocation, it's so unfair to have 3, but I'm not complaining, so you've got to have 3 to add consistency. 2 Twister, use it. It's so good and nobody expects it. Call of the Haunted is now at 3. It's going to be used a lot. And also other such cards as Zex Calibur. And, and also Hornet. Hornet is now an equip card, so you can kill it with Twister. So 500 points are a big deal. Find your life points are used to go off with your plays. They're not used to keep you alive in this game. They're used to go off on your plays and nail your opponent. So 2 Twister is very handy tech that a lot of people don't expect. 3 MSTs and 3 Night Beams. Basically, you want these Photon Strike Bouncers and Atoms to come out. You do not want them to be bottomless, negated, whatever. So this stops your knight, your opponent from killing your cards, and also, there's no Heavy Storm, so you cannot be Starlight Roaded, which is so key. As this deck does not run Dark Hole or Heavy Storm, and your opponent will undoubtedly be running Starlight Road, they've got basically two wasted cards in their deck straight away. So you've instantly got a hand advantage, deck advantage over to them. It's so important, and I think it's actually quite essential not running Dark Hole and Heavy Storm now in this meta, because Starlight Road is so easily stopped. Uh, it stops them so easily and you don't want to give them a free stardust. Three smashing! Essential! In that I think it's just so handy. It's got me out of so many things because it's just a 1-4 and you can nail a Dolker, you can nail Graffle, you're just like, oh, boom, nail you, and then I'll just go off on my combo and just, without fear of being negated and just wreck the opponent. It's so good. And also it can't be Starlight Road it. So it's basically three smashing grounds in exchange for a Dark Hole, which I think is a perfectly feasible explanation. Uh, two Super Rejuvenations, basically because D... Card card D is ridiculously overrated, overpriced, and for dweebs. So, Super Rejuvenation, you can add some hand consistency, and also, because this deck undoubtedly runs tributes because it's high Hyratic Dragon deck. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Draw one card from your deck for each Dragon Type monster discarded. Hooray! Tributed. You'll be doing that a lot, so you'll be getting lots of hand advantage. It's pretty handy. Uh, two bottomless trap hole. <laughs> you don't need solemn warning now, because 2,000 points isn't worth it for the negation. You can just kill a centipede with this. You can kill a Gigamantis when it's summoned normally, which I don't know why it would be, but you can get rid of Dolka, and it's just so handy. Really good. Uh, two Liberty at last. It's kind of like my tech, because Gebeb is going to probably get killed, because there's Raiho out there, there's Doom Caliber Knight, there's um, 
sorry, there's Sabersaurus that you will go into and kill your Gebeb. So you could just put, oh, bye Zen mains, bye other such things like Dolka, by Graffa, whatever, it's all good. So Liberty at last is very handy and your opponent doesn't expect it. And one Starlight Road because so many people now run mass destruction cards that it's basically a free Stardust. Alright, onto the extra deck. One BRD because you're just manipulating that effect failure's tune ability if you really need it to nail the field using Eset and um, as such to root, no sorry, um, Sue or Tefnut to get out that seven star to destroy your monsters. One Branak once again using effect failure as a last resort. Uh, two Stardust because of Starlight Road. One Adrius, because it's so beast, and it's just manipulating once again the five star usage of this card, having four targets as opposed to three. So now five star exceeds are much more viable. Three guard dragons and three atoms. With this isn't an atom turbo deck without three of each. So yeah, two photon strike bounds. As I said, this deck does stun much better than it does beat. So you basically, and it does both very well, but it's much more stunned because you've got three of Vedas, you've got everything like that, but it's basically so easy. You go Sue, you go Luster Dragon, you go into an Atom, and then you just go in for another one. So it's Atom and a Photon Strike Bouncer, or just a Photon Strike Bouncer straight away in your first turn, so your opponent immediately can't do Dragonfly, it can't do Centipede, it can't do Tour Guide, it can't do Rabbit, it's just so handy, so handy. Just run two. One Tiras, I haven't actually used him, but he's... He just looks badass, and also I'm sure his effect is pretty handy when you need to it. And finally, one Zen Mayo. This is a really underestimated card, in my opinion. Sure, it can be Starlight Roaded, but it can get rid of Snowman Eater, Penguin Soldier. It can get rid of Call of the Haunted Face Down. It can get rid of just some cards like, um, I guess, Mizumi Magatama is one of them as well. Uh, just It's just re deep risen. It's just really handy card that can just stop those really important back cards that your opponent is planning on using. And also, it's got 2600 attack. So, yeah, all thumbs up for Zen Mayo. And that's the deck, guys. Give me your thoughts. I mean, I'm trying to bring Atom Turbo to the TCG straight away to keep it, give it, give it big and tournament-worthy. Tell me what you think and what you change. And, of course, please support my channel. It really means a lot, and it helps me bring more content for you guys. All right, guys, I will see you all later.